Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and in this video I am going to show you how to organize your measures in the Power BI report using measure folder. So let's start the video and let me show you how to do that. So as you can see on my screen, this is a sample Power BI report from Microsoft Power BI which is a sales and marketing report. And if you see on the right side, we have all measures table created where we have all the measures and uh, I want to organize these measures in a measure folder so that it's easy to navigate to the measures. So for that, what we can do is to create a measure folder, we'll go to the model view. And here, let's make this pane a little wide. So here I want to organize these measures. Here I can see some measures which are uh, pre uh, prefixed with in at the rate indicator. So I will name these measures as indicator. So let's click on indicator 01 and I will, I will do shift and I will select all these indicator measures. Now I will go to the properties pane. Here you can see this display folder. Here I will write indicator. And click on enter. You can see a indicator measure folder is created. Similarly, I will create a folder for space 1 and space 2. Let's uh, name it as space and click on enter. A space folder is created. So if you go down, you can see uh, there are some total measures uh, having total category, total compete, total other, total units, total van hour still. What I will do is I will create a total folder for measures and uh, inside that total folder there will be uh, different measure folders for uh, total other total units total when are still so let's do that i will select all the total other units and then i will go to the display folder and write as total so this will be the outer folder and if i click on backslash and then write as total other so Inside total there will be total other folder and inside total other folder these total other measures will reside. So if I click on enter you can see a total measure is created inside that a total other folder is created and inside total other we have these total other measures. Similarly, similarly I will click on total units and select all the total unit measures and uh, in the display folder I will write total backslash total units and if I click on enter you will see inside total we have two folders total other and total units inside total other we have total other measures and inside total units we have total units measures so in this way you can create multiple measure folders to organize your data model to create the navigation easier and faster so that was it for this video let me know in the comments if you like the video and if you like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel Thanks for watching.